While hosting an application or workload in the public cloud has become common, today's enterprises are relying more and more on multiple clouds to help ensure availability, including for disaster recovery purposes in the event of an outage. With Commvault, it's simple to create a multi-cloud resiliency strategy with our easy-to-use disaster recovery tools, all managed through the Commvault Command Center, a web-based interface that provides a single pane of glass view across your entire data landscape. And no matter which cloud you're using, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle, Commvault has you covered, both to and from the cloud provider of your choice. In this demo, we'll take a deeper dive into how Commvault disaster recovery automation and orchestration can be used to reduce risk and accelerate recovery while saving time and lowering costs. Let's take a look at an example using a payroll application that's hosted on Amazon Web Services. In this example, we're looking to help ensure resiliency and continuity, just in case the AWS region hosting this application becomes unavailable. To do this, we want to be able to automatically shift that application over to a different cloud. In this case, Microsoft Azure, in the event of an outage. Here, our payroll application is hosted on AWS, consisting of 10 virtual machines going into two different AWS regions, East and West. We'll use Azure as our disaster recovery target. We've already created the resources that are required for replicating the workload at our DR target in Azure. We defined the AWS virtualization in the initial configuration, created the infrastructure, and applied policies for auto-scaling and auto-power management. These automation tools help us optimize both compute and storage costs. When we apply auto-scale, each region optimizes the data transfer process as it leaves the source VMs. With auto-scaling, Commvault deploys access in the appropriate web regions, only when needed then uses power management to automatically power off and decommission the nodes once you've used them. Autoscaling, combined with power management, can help reduce the cost of using the cloud to back up your VMs. With Autoscale, whether you have 10 VMs or 100, Commvault makes it easy and cost-effective to protect and recover them. Now the AWS configuration is in place, so we create a replication group that will capture the appropriate replication policy for each region. We don't see replication as purely workload specific. For example, an application could be dependent on VMs. It could be dependent on object storage or have file servers that are dependent on it. We allow users to easily design and implement a customized replication policy that can stretch across all their applications. In this instance, I'm going to pick virtualization to configure the AWS resources. We'll select a hypervisor and then add our virtual machines. Now we'll select policy tags. The VMs have all been pre-tagged, so we'll select the VMs that have been tagged as payroll. As your application or workloads evolve, and as more VMs get added, they too can be tagged to payroll. And those new VMs will automatically be added and replicated based on the user established policy. We can even create multiple replication groups, each with its own RPO or RTO configurations. Similarly, you can apply a different tag for each of them, allowing the user to determine which tier they fall into. This kind of flexibility simplifies the DR process, reducing both cost and the need for administrative resources. Selecting the tag Payroll automatically brings up all VMs that are tagged with that specific value. Next, we configure a target. In this instance, Azure is the target in which our DR resources will be spun up. You can easily select the resource groups, along with the region to which you want to replicate. At the same time, you can specify how you want to size the VMs when the replication occurs. You could accept the default setting, or you could select a suitably sized VM from among the options offered by Azure. But if you want to optimize the costs of running your DR infrastructure in the cloud, you can override the default settings and select a different server configuration and disk options. You can leave your DR copy isolated, or you can automatically connect to a network when it comes up. As you're defining your DR target environment, you can also apply security and firewall policies in Azure. You can specify options for testing failover to help ensure that your disaster recovery tools will function as planned in the event of an actual disaster scenario. You can configure to have your test failover remain in an isolated network or even configure it to an entirely different network. Now the target has been created and mapped in Azure.
At this point, you can configure your recovery point objective. With Commvault Disaster Recovery, you can go to as granular as 15 minutes for supported workloads. If you're using VMware, we can even achieve sub-minute RPOs. By using block-level filtering, we're able to offer faster sync times and reduce storage consumption on the source-side storage pool. Warm site recovery can also play into your RPOs. A warm site recovery replicates a source VM without creating a destination VM on the DR site. You can use the warm site for a replication group to create a disaster recovery VM only during failover for non-critical VMs. The benefit is that you're not utilizing DR site resources or incurring associated costs until there's an actual failover. When selecting your storage target options, you can choose to apply automatic deduplication that compresses the file size, significantly reducing both your egress fees and storage costs. You can also select a secondary copy of the multi-copy mechanism, so you could have one copy primarily for replication needs, while creating a second copy for long-term retention. Out of all the available options, you can easily override and customize options and overlay them at a different VM level or replication group. At the replication group level, you can also override settings. So if you'd like to extend the replication functionality and do custom scripts, such as updating your DNS settings at the time of failover, you can easily extend your DR orchestration capabilities. The replication group has now been created from AWS to Azure. The replication job lands, it inputs the data, compresses and applies deduplication, and transfers all the data from AWS to Azure. Your replication is complete and has met your criteria.